It is May 2003. Um, the administration, American administration in Baghdad dissolves the Iraqi army. And I am driving in a car and we see a group of men with a little sign and they're marching up the street and we stop um, and ask what's wrong and it turns out they're all colonels. And they're all angry because they have been fired essentially by the Americans. And we, we go back to their houses. They let us come home with them. And it's about their family story and about having no money. And it's very clear that the anger that these families feel will lead to something that, uh, you know, will eventually ignite a civilian civil war, a sectarian civil war in Iraq. But I think it's the instinct to stop. It's the instinct that if you see a bunch of people walking, there's probably something to it, and to stop and see what that story is. And I'm not saying that I wouldn't have done it um, uh, earlier in my career, but it's, it's if you do it long enough, you know that's the story. That you know if you see a group of civilians and they're angry, that you better stop and see what it's about, because that is much more likely to be part of the war story than you think it is.